As we're about to film this video, this guy right here, Snowball, or as you could say the star of this video, dropped two dookies right here. All good, thanks Snowball. <laughs> what we're about to do, we do not recommend for anybody to try this at all. This is for testing purposes. In an emergency situation, do the complete opposite of everything that we're doing right now. Hey, it's Anthony from New York State Solar Farm and my beautiful wife, Bianca, as well as little Snowball who's, uh, who's joining us in this video. What we're about to do is Bianca has the iPad set up with the uh, Tesla Powerwall app. And you can see right now the home is drawing 0.7 kilowatt hours. Upstairs in the house, we have every device off besides a few things. A few things and what we're running currently right now in the basement. We are going to shut the main breaker down um, and power coming in from the street. We're going to run solely off our three Tesla power walls. We have three power walls at 13 and a half kW a piece totaling 40.5 kilowatt hours of storage. But what we're about to do is just test them out and see how much load we can put on them and how many things we could turn on in the house at one time. So we're about to start it off oh, yes. right now. Three, two, one. Power's out. We're currently, our app is showing. Um, off grid. Off grid, backup mode right now. House is still at 0.6. So let the party begin. Let's start plugging things in. The first thing we're gonna plug in is the one wheel skateboard down here. So, all right, let's get that plugged in. So the one wheel skateboard is plugged in. Well, a good thing about that is it consumes basically nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so we went from 0.6 to 0.7. Next is I have these corny little lights that light up the power walls. So let's plug those in. All right. The next thing is this little mini um, air conditioner slash heater that uses a ton of energy, isn't a complete waster, but always uses a ton of power. And we're still at 0.7 after those lights. Let's plug that thing in. You'll see in a second, that should bring the draw up. It went from 0.7 to 0.9. Next thing we're about to turn on, this industrial fan. Johnny, thanks for leaving, it this, uh, leaving this at the house. All right, fans on. We are at 1.1. 1. 1.1, so right now, everything is on in this corner, light, router, security system. All of these lights are on in the basement down here. These are all LED lights. All right, so. We're we at 1.2. The, these lights turned on. We're at 1.2. I'll turn these lights on over here. Light, another one. We will turn this TV on over here. B, can you flip the TV on? All right, cool. TV's going, internet's connected to it. Now let's start to head upstairs. 1.4. 1 1.4 1 we're at? Mm-hmm. Anything else to plug in down here? Uh, no, let's just I think hope we're good. nothing blows up. Oh. Upstairs, let's go. Keep it moving, Snow. All right, so we're upstairs. This light is on a motion timer, so that thing just popped on. Bathroom, lights on. Bianca, you're gonna do some, cause you know, in a blackout situation, you always wanna get your laundry done right away. Turn the dryer on. Oh man, the washer and dryer just kicked 7.4, brought us up to. All right, so we're upstairs right now. And here we go, let's keep plugging things in. 
The dishes. So I did load up the dishwasher before this. So the, I and I did load up the the washing machine and the dryer. So nothing's getting wasted. I swear, everything that's dirty. Okay. That's going. Next thing, Vitamix blender. I just put some water in there just to get that going. 7.3 kW we're holding. Coffee pot's on, we'll turn that guy on. All right, let's go over here. Hey, Is there actual coffee in there? No, just water. Oh. All right, next we're in the living room. Where we just- One, two, three, four, five, six lights we just turned on. 8.4. Turn this light on. DV on. So right now, Bianca is going to click on our heat pump that does all of our heating and cooling for the house. Those take a little bit to We're get on. going and the compressor to get going. So right now, let's see where we get to 7.7. .7. And the heat pump currently is on uh, heat because it's winter 40 degrees outside right now. So there's the heat pump kicking on a little bit. 8.7, 8.6, that'll keep rising right now once we get that fired up. What else downstairs do you think we could turn on? I think that's it. Every KW, by the way. Oh, a big one. Is there anything we could throw in the microwave right now? What was that beeping? What are you talking about? Why are you freaking out right now? I don't know. <laughs> so just turn the microwave on for 30 seconds. Instantaneous jump to 10.3 on the microwave. 12, we're at 12. 12? Yeah. Okay. All right, we will make our way upstairs. All the lights are on down here. The TV is on down here. All right, let's keep this party moving. All right, bathroom. Guest Light. bathroom. Guest bathroom light is on. <laughs> Spare bedroom. We'll turn our oh, closet lights on, bathroom light. And we'll turn the heat pump on. All right, so the last thing I wanna turn on in the house is 30 gallon compressor. I use this for cleaning the car, detailing. It's got the little air hose on there. We will plug this guy in. If I could do this with one hand, let's see. KW right now with the compressor. Let's head back inside. This thing is pretty loud. We have the entire home running off those three power walls and everything that we could plug in right now, we completely have plugged in. So test complete. It was pretty cool. I've been wanting to do this test for a little while. Uh, it was an idea for my buddy Mike French in Hawaii. He actually had a customer that thought he couldn't even power like his refrigerator with three Tesla power walls. So this just shows what you could power. And right now you could power everything in our house with these three power walls. Each home is different. Each design is different. Every solar is not, you know, design is not the same, but for our situation right now, we are fully running off three Tesla power walls. And how long do you think we could sustain this? Uh, I mean, obviously we're, going to be more conservative conservative in a blackout situation but with everything on like we have now at nighttime so right now if we're pulling 10.7 kw mm -hmm. our power wall is at 90 kw so we can go like roughly eight to nine hours with everything on with like everything this. on in this current state that we're in right now wow yeah well, I wouldn't have everything on like this even if I wasn't in a blackout situation. So I think I'll be okay. Yeah, this yeah. is <laughs> this is total exaggeration, but 
It was fun to do it and signing out. We will see you guys later.